Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I am going to show you how to recreate the hairstyle of Mildred Ratched in the new Netflix series Ratched, which I must admit I find a bit hard to watch, but the costumes are just amazing. We're not here to chat about the show, we're here to do some hair, so let's get started straight away. The hairstyle that Mildred wears in the majority of the show is a very typical 1940s hairstyle and I actually have a video on my channel already which is very similar. Today I'm just going to tweak it a little bit to get it even closer to hers in the show. So I am wearing one strip of hair extension today. I have placed it at the bottom of my hair. It is right here and I will need that because we will be doing a hairstyle in three parts and my own hair is quite fine and thin. You definitely don't need hair extensions to do this hairstyle. I will also be using this thingy right here. <laughs> this is the makeshift hair roll that I use in hairstyling and I will be using this to fill out my roll. There is a roll at the bottom of the hairstyle and this is gonna go inside it. In the 1940s they had a super handy tool for that looks a little something like this, you would clamp the hair in between, pinch it shut, roll it up and have a hair roll ready. So if you have something like that, that would be fantastic. I personally don't, I'm gonna use this. Add a bonus, this fills out the roll, makes it a little bit fuller. So if your hair is on the thinner side like mine, then you will definitely benefit from something like this. If you don't want to make your own, <laughs> which it is quite easy to do, but you could always take a hair donut and cut it so that you can a little roll like this made out of a hair donut and beside this I'm gonna use a bunch of bobby pins and hairspray so let's get started for real now I am going to be working from the bottom up so first thing I'm gonna do is split my hair and I'm gonna split right around ear level so a little bit over my ears let me take off my glasses for this I'm gonna split my hair a little bit above my ears and I'm gonna clip away the top half of my hair. This hair right here is what I'm going to be using for the roll and then all the hair on the top is gonna be the rest of the hairstyle. So I'm just gonna brush this through. I'm going to take my little roll here. I'm gonna take my hair and I'm going to bring the roll as far down my hair as I can. Obviously my arms can only reach so far down the back. <laughs> like that, but as far as I can get it, and I'm gonna roll the ends around the roll and then I'm going to twist the roll up, roll it up towards my head. I'm gonna try and get it as close to my hairline as possible. And now the trickiest part with a roll that already has a shape like mine does is that you need to roll it so that it is in the right orientation <laughs> and the points actually face up on the sides but I think I have got it so anywhere where the hair isn't covering the roll yet I'm gonna have to spread it out a bit and tuck it underneath because we obviously don't want to see any of the roll this needs to look like it's all hair so this might take a little bit of time will need some playing around with but once you have your roll roughly set in the right position I'm just gonna go in with some bobby pins and secure this down and I will go back later to spread out this hair a little bit better so I'll get in where I need it but for now I just want to secure this on my head so that I can let go and actually look at this from behind so at this point I'm gonna grab a second mirror so that I can look at myself from the back and see that I have little horns on both sides which we definitely don't want so I'm gonna just work on covering those by just pulling at the hair spreading it out a little bit better and tucking whenever needed the way I'm pinning my hair is I take my bobby pin and I will kind of go around the roll so I stick it in like that and I flip it over before I push it in and if you are using a hair donut um, one of those kind of netted ones you could push the bobby pin through the donut a little bit or kind of catch a bit of that donut that will make it even more secure by the way if you need to do a lot of tucking on the top and it becomes a little bit messy around this edge don't worry about that that's what the next part of the hairstyle is for so just make sure that the bottom and the sides are neat. All right, once you are more or less happy with the roll, you 
can go ahead and hairspray this to death. Make sure this does not move. <laughs> Especially if you have little flyaway neck hairs like I do. I think most people have those. Hairspray is a necessity. Okay, that is step one of the hairstyle done. So we're moving on to the next layer. And for that, I'm gonna have to separate my hair. So Nurse Ratchet has two victory rolls on the front, and then the back of her hair is arranged in rolls along the top of this bottom roll. So I am now going to separate enough hair to make my victory rolls, which is basically going to just be the front of my hair at this point. So I'm separating the hair above my ear. So from the top of my head, right on my crown, to my ear. I'm gonna take the front of that. And clip it away for now. And now the hair that I have in the back here, I am going to separate that into three equal sections. I'm going to take the center section and roll it around my hair. And I'm going to create a little bit of a pin curl. up and right up here and then I am going to just bobby pin this down and I'm gonna make sure that it is sitting on the top of my roll the bottom roll that we just made then I'm gonna move on to the next I'm gonna make another little pin curl and these can be quite large they are pretty big on her as well and we mostly just want to cover up the majority of the top of the roll here so don't be afraid to make the curls quite big but try not to make them overlap they should sit next to each other and then with the last one of course we're gonna do the same thing and with these outer two curls I am trying to make sure that they face inward so that the bulk of the hair is on the outside and then it kind of twists inward. Then once I am happy with the second layer my rolls I'm gonna go ahead and hairspray this as well and then it's time to move on to the last layer, which is going to be the victory rolls. And this is possibly the trickiest part. I'm going to start by splitting my hair down the center. I'm going to clip one side away for now because we don't need that yet. Please disregard how funny that looks, but we are going to start by working on this side right here. And in order to do a victory roll, well, first of all, it's easier to do a curled hair. That goes for the entire hairstyle. Much easier if you do a pin curl set than like before. It's not necessary though, it can definitely be done straight hair as well. So I am going to backcomb all of this hair that I have here and especially the front parts. And this is extra important for me since I have bangs that I need to somehow incorporate into this. But even if you don't have bangs, backcombing is half of it honestly and can really determine how successful your victory roll will be. So all of this side is now backcombed and why backcombing is so important in making victory rolls is that we need this hair to be moldable and to do what we want it to do and that is a lot harder when it is slippery and not backcombed. Backcombing just makes it much easier. So next I need to mold my victory roll as I mentioned. So what I'm going to do is pull this hair up away from my face and we want to create little rolls on top here. So let me just check how it's going. I'm gonna pull my hair up and bring it to my crown and there I'm gonna wrap it around my fingers and do that same little pin curl trick. So I'm just rolling it when it's already where it needs to be which will really really help. If you need to you could go along the outside of this tease bit and just smooth it out with a brush a little bit. My hair personally will just lose the back combing completely if I do that so for me it's enough if I just go over it with my hand but if you need to do that then this is where you would do it. Pin it down right where you want it which is going to be somewhere around the crown right around there. You're just going to secure this again with a load of bobby pins until you're sure that it won't go anywhere. So there is one victory roll done. Hers are nice and flat which is much easier than doing the raised um, victory roll so <laughs> that is perfect for us. But then you're just going to do the exact same thing on the other side and that is the last step in this hairstyle. Almost, almost last step. Ooh. 
One important thing to note is that you want your rolls to meet up in the back, so they need to touch. And preferably you'd want them to be around the same size. And then of course, you guessed it, last step is to blast this with hairspray. Which can also help if you have bangs like me to just stick them up. And there you have it! There is the hairstyle of 2020 version of Mildred Ratchet from the Netflix TV show. So I really hope you enjoyed this video guys and maybe found it helpful if this was something you were looking to recreate. If you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store there will be links in the description below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!